Hi guys, okay, question D. It says, by sketching a suitable derivative of f, find where the cross-sectional radius of the ball is decreasing most rapidly. Okay, so the first thing just to be clear about what's happening is, this is the ball. This is the ball. So what you see is kind of like half the side of the ball. So this is a bit like if this was, let's say this was the x-axis, the ball is spinning around. So here's our OA, here's our OA. So we see this, this part of the of the ball so what we get from that is this is the radius the radius is this height because this is the radius of the ball this this part of the ball and it's changing at at the very top of the ball let's say it's quite a big radius it's a wide ball and the but the radius is getting smaller and smaller and smaller it is decreasing and hence down here we've got the ball is quite narrow. So the question is like, where is the radius of the ball decreasing most rapidly? So look here, it's decreasing, 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 decreasing. Um, starts off kind of slow and starts decreasing more rapidly. And then maybe it slows off about here. It's not maybe that clear to see from the image. But if it looked, if I change the scale and it looks something like this, let's do that again, like this, you might say, okay, yeah, here is where it's decreasing most rapidly, right there. And maybe, guys, you are familiar, you can recognize that this is on a graph, the point of inflection. So it's the point of inflection, or it's where the gradient is at a minimum, because the minimum value of the gradient is where the gradient is going to be decreasing most rapidly, because it has to be, um, it has to be negative, because it's decreasing, so we want the, the largest negative value, if you like, which would ultimately be the minimum of the first derivative. So, D part I. You have two options, and that's why it says the graph of a suitable derivative, because you could get the graph of the first derivative and find where that's at a minimum, or you can get the graph of the second derivative and find where that's equal to zero, because that's how you find the point of inflection. I'm just going to do, because I think it just makes more sense intuitively, I'm going to find where where f dash of x because that's what the that's the change in the um or the, the yeah the change in the radius is at a minimum because that is where the change in the radius or where the, sorry where the radius of the ball is decreasing most rapidly now he does say sketch he says sketch the derivative so let's sketch it we're going to have to sketch um, we're going to sketch f dash of x and we have to do it um, well, well we'll do it for x is greater than zero okay in my on my calculator I've already sketched f f of x it's this and you can see maybe that this is a clearer version of this to see like that it's a point of inflection around here somewhere around there that we're looking for now you could find the derivative using the quotient rule and all that but it's a paper too so you don't have to do that there's a nice easy way to sketch the derivative you click on this and you can click the f sketch the first or write in the first derivative here and there's the second derivative right there so you literally just write in ddx of and you can type in f1 of x because you've actually just graphed f1 of x there it is so i'm going to sketch the derivative of that and there it is it gives you the derivative so the derivative comes down there and up here like this. Now I want so something like this. Actually, let me just make that blue. So it comes down here like this and then goes up here and kind of approaches this but doesn't touch it. And this point here, this minimum, is, well, let's find it. Analyze graph, minimum. Which graph? Well, this one, lower bound upper bound and this point is 1.7627 1.7627 comma minus 1.839 comma minus 1.839 that's that point there so I'm gonna say therefore where is it where is this graph decreasing most rapidly well it's decreasing most rapidly when X 
equals 1.7627. It's not this. This, actually, this value actually tells us the gradient of this curve. It tells you the, the rate at which it is decreasing, but that's not what they've asked us for. They've asked, they've asked us for where is it happening, and it's happening there. And then for part two, it says state the radius of the bowl at this point. Now, a, a common mistake people would make is they'd put in this, or at least the positive version of that, but that's actually not correct. We need to find, so if this is one point, that's the radius. So if this is, let's say, 1.7627, we need to find f of this to find that value. That's the, the, the value of the radius cross-sectional radius. So I'm trying to find f of 1.7627. I can just put that straight into my calculator. I can use this graph that I've already got, guys. So I'm going to do menu trace, graph trace, and I'm going to type in, well, it's actually already on it, look. It's there. It's 5.2, but I'll, I'll just type it anyway. 1.7627. Press enter and I get it. So it's 5.2017. 5.2017, which is, if you want, approximately equal to 5.20 to three significant figures. And this guy is 1.76 to three significant figures. Okay, so that's it. And um, that's question 11. Um, I'll see you for question 12.